Uh, my name is Maliha Azmi Agha. Um, I'm a practicing professional artist and I have been um, a professor of art as well. Um, the art came into my life right at the beginning. Um, as far back as I can go, it was always there and always a very much a part of me, but started displaying my work in 1987 and I haven't stopped and I don't intend to. Um, my teaching, uh, well, I taught for 31 to 32 years um, uh, at the university level, at the postgraduate level, um, which was delightful. Um, I love to teach. I love the interaction in the classroom with my students. Um, my teaching, unfortunately, ended on a bad note, um, uh, which was rather traumatic for me. However, I had my art, and I still do, thank God for that. Um, which is something that sustained me and it continues to do that um, because art is that subject where you can um, find yourself or at least spend a very long time searching for yourself, searching for the truth, searching for, for things, for any answers, whatever it is that you're looking for. Um, so I have turned to that, I think, almost entirely and completely. My art is, um, it kind of transcends certain boundaries. I'm a bit of a traditionalist in the sense that I do a lot of portraits because I just cannot get over the human face and the human form. But at the same time, uh, to, to spring away from that, um, I also do a lot of conceptual work, a lot of conceptual landscapes. So with that, um, I'd like to perhaps, um, you know, make a beginning here, which is, and the topic that I thought of was, which I thought was relevant to me, um, is uh, the art of living. I had to have the word art in there. And living has to be there because you're living, you're alive, you're in the moment for as long as you are. Um, and, and for me, that's what it is all about. Art is life. Uh, but how does it work? Um, it's not just about being an artist. You don't have to be an artist in order to uh, live a life which is gratifying um, or to be productive or to be innovative. You can be a doctor, you can be a lawyer, you can be a nurse or an engineer or an architect or uh, a, a housewife, um, a student, um, a writer, a poet. Um, you can just be just about anyone. You could be uh, just working in the kitchen and be absolutely stupendous in what you do. So the whole idea of it is that you have to do whatever you do with complete honesty and truth. Um, the word art has been taken from a Greek word which actually means to arrange. Uh, whatever you do or whatever I do or we do as human beings, it is an arrangement. It is how we choose to put things together, how we choose to even take them apart, how we choose and what we choose to do with what it is that is there at our disposal. What do we pick up? What do we drop? It's all an art. I just look at the way the Japanese are. I just look at that, the awesome culture that they have and the ceremonies that they have and the time that they take to perfect every little thing that they do. I mean, for instance, in their tea ceremony, I mean, just look at that. It's just amazing. It's just awesome. Um, and then what is important, of course, is also that uh, they strive for perfection. And as Michelangelo said, that when the artist is striving for perfection, that is the time that he or she is closest to the divine. And it is not just the artist who needs to strive, but everybody and anybody. I mean, this world is, it has enough sadness and sorrow and grief, and it has enough ugliness in it. We don't need to add to that. We just don't. But what we do need to do is, in our own individual capacities, in our own little ways, whatever your sphere of influence is, um, whoever you can reach out to, or even maybe just, even just a simple housewife, even just with her family, her kids, her husband, her brothers and sisters, and you know, whatever, that little, 
universe is what needs to be affected by our attitudes. Um, this positive attitude of spreading hope, of spreading kindness, of spreading love, trying to do the best that you can possibly do in the time that has been given to you. That is an art. I consider that an art. It is the art of living. Thank you very much. And I am very honored to have been invited at MM Talks. Thank you.